day everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today we are taking a look at the Weatherby VAC. This is a unique rifle compared to the other Weatherby synthetic rifles. This rifle features a stock made by a company called GRS and they make it exclusively for Weatherby on this model. Uh, this particular stock has some really neat features. It has rubber over molded grips up on the front fore and back here on the pistol grip. The pistol grip is a unique style and gives you a perfect fit for your hand back there, the hand to trigger. Back on the back of the stock, they also include adjustments for length of pull. So you just push in these over buttons and you pull it out. And same up here for the cheek rest height, fully adjustable. The standard features of this rifle are the bolt, is a fluted bolt with your M16 style extractor. We have a dual lug lockup to keep it locked in there. Features a two stage match creep free trigger down here, which is excellent. They're amazing triggers. Uh, we got a hinge floor plate on the bottom. This holds four rounds in the magazine, plus you can put one in the chamber for a total of five rounds on the 6.5 Creedmoor model. We have a three position safety back here. On the opposite side right here, we have our release for the bolt. So if we open up the bolt, hold this down, we can pull the bolt right out. The barrel is a number three contour 20 inch hammer cold forge barrel with an aftermarket Matador Arms flash suppressor up on the front. Up on top, we have a Burris Full Field 2 six and a half to 20 power scope with a 50 millimeter adjustable objective. The overall length of this rifle is 30 and a half inches to 40 and three quarter inches. The weight of this rifle is eight and three quarter pounds. So it's a little heavier than your average rifle, but uh, this, this is actually aimed at your long range hunting market. Let's go shoot some rounds. So right away, getting lined up on this rifle is pretty simple. This uh, over molded hand grip right back here for your hand, the pistol grip, it's pretty awesome. It gives you a nice feel of the rifle. I noticed that the, the cheek riser really gets my face in the right spot. That's beautiful. In the back of the stock, it's just perfect for curling your hand under to raise the back of it up so that you can get it on target. We have a round loaded, good clear target. That's beautiful. This rifle's perfect, you'd see exactly where you're putting those bullets. It's actually the first time I've shot 6.5 millimeter Creed bar. Pretty decent little cartridge, really. Clear. What a nice little platform for shooting. I, for myself, I didn't really have to adjust out the back of the stock. I mean, it's at a good length for me. Uh, the cheek riser, it's it's sitting pretty good too. And that would be in relation to how I have the scope mounted. So I've got it mounted down fairly low, like as low as I can go, as close to the barrel as I can get with that 50 millimeter objective. And uh, I can get my eye right in there. I'd see them up on the stock and I've got a clear view right down range through that scope. It's awesome. So we're gonna load this up again. Uh, I'm really loving the sound off of this with that Matador brake on the front. That is awesome. It's just a real concussive type of sound. Uh, what it has is it's, you can't see the brake holes in it because it's got a deflector on it to force that blast forward. So it keeps it away from the shooter. One thing about this mag on these Weatherby rifles, they're pretty darn easy to load. You don't have to take it out and, and lose it. You take your, your four shells, you jam them in there, and you're ready to go. There's no, uh, no chance of you losing a mag. Like my, my only complaint about it was when you go to take it out, you want to go somewhere, but really, I'm just shooting right here, so it doesn't really matter. Came around, safety on.
This thing's just a pleasure to shoot. Okay, we're clear. So my overall thoughts on this rifle, it's a pretty neat system. If you're a long range hunter, you're gonna find this very useful. Target shooters, yeah, it's gonna work for you too. Uh, it's more built for durability of being out in the in the wild and so you have the stock that you don't really have to worry about getting bumped and scratched. Uh, it can get a little damp, a little wet like today it's snowing. Uh, you're not going to lose your grip on it at all. It's uh, it's really a neat neat setup. Yeah, this is this is a pretty neat rifle. I definitely throw this into my hunting guns category for sure.